Hey everyone, I'm back at it again. Kind of out of my element here. You see what's different behind me? Yeah. I'm not a full hookups kind of guy. <laughs> this is uh, Clearwater State Park in Iowa. It's uh, northern Iowa, uh, north of Des Moines on I-35. Not too far from the Minnesota border. We're probably 35, 40 minutes from the Minnesota border. Uh, I was gonna camp over there you see those over there and the green slips of paper you can see our reservations now when i checked them out yesterday the ones that weren't taken were reserved they're uh dry camping spots or uh there is a couple dry camping spots i'm sorry that one was electric some of them are dry camping i'm sorry but uh, they had reserve spots on them. Um, people never showed up last night. So I could have camped over there. However, <laughs> it seems to be the norm these days that people start reserving them for a week or two weeks at a shot uh, to make sure they get the slot that they're in or they, they haven't planned properly and they don't know exactly when they're going to get there, so they reserve it for extra days, which kind of screws other people. But uh, another reason why I don't like paid campgrounds. and But problem I'm running into is right now, today is April 5th. 15th tax day got your taxes done I'm late on mine um, a lot of the campgrounds in this northern climate don't open till May 1st so a lot of the free camping in city parks county parks like I like to do and some of the wildlife management areas and uh, national forest improved campgrounds along my route are closed. <laughs> One of my other options, Boondockers Welcome, a lot of them along my route, May 1st is their first day they accept reservations at those sites. So I paid for this spot last night. It was $12, it's off season. It's an electric site. So I just made sure my batteries are topped off since it's cloudy today, as you can see. I knew it was going to be cloudy today, so I just topped them off, let it, left the charger run on my batteries all night long. I'm paying for it. I might as well use it. Um, normally, this site, I believe, for just electric is 18 and full hooks 26. Uh, I'll get a picture of the, uh, the rate schedule up there, but it's off season, so they're down to 12 and actually the dry camping spots are six and that's what I was trying to get unfortunately uh, there were none available like I said they were all reserved and uh, no one showed for those <laughs> even they had reserve tags on them but we've got a couple cool things we're going to do today I'm probably going to be mooch docking in a couple days at my sister's house in uh, northern Minnesota, um, not too far from Bemidji, Minnesota, probably about 45 minutes from Bemidji. And I'll take a little bit of video there. I'm going to visit a few friends, and visit with my sister for a couple days, and then I'm uh, going to move on to Duluth and uh, get a little video from there and visit another family member. And then I'll be working my way down to Wisconsin so uh, glad you came along for the ride here <laughs> and 
and I uh, hope you enjoy what we're going to find today. And uh, appreciate all the new subscribers too. Thanks for jumping on board my channel. And got some cool stuff to come out coming up here. So keep on watching. Set your reminders. So mash that bell. All right. We'll talk to you in a few. Well, we've arrived. And you can see right in the middle of a farm field here. And we come into this. Of course, the uh, black rim glasses symbolize uh, Buddy Holly. He is famous for those. And other people decide to do their glasses on there too. So let's take a walk out to the actual crash site here. A farmer that owns this maintains this so people can come and visit. Kind of neat. We'll take a short walk out here. As you can see, the jacket today, it's in the uh, mid to upper 40s today. I'm not used to it yet. I got the North Face uh, fuzzy sweatshirt on underneath too. <laughs> Kind of crazy. But we'll get back with you when I get out there. Well, it's about a about a half mile hike in here, maybe a little further than a half mile to the actual crash site from the gravel road where you saw the black room glass glasses there. And here's the actual crash site you can see people still come out here there's records and why okay there we go. Peggy Sue, Chantilly Lace, Donna, and Roger Peterson. Often forgot about the pilot that lost his life. Kind of an interesting uh, windmill made out of bunt cake fans. And uh, how do I know what they are? Well, I'm from Minnesota. We have bunt cakes in, in Minnesota here. But little memorial's kind of nice, the stainless steel work with the records, and pretty cool. Rest in peace, guys. Rest in peace. All right, I'm going to make my way back to the rig. As you can see, you really can't see it from here. <laughs> so I got a little hike, get back. And then we're off to the next stop. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.